here to Rick and Glen Park on the south side of Glasgow for the opening night of Electric Glen. It promises to be an enchanting night full of incredible light installations, music, smoke and lots and lots of atmosphere. You can see some beautiful lights behind me but the rest of the park has still yet to be discovered. Electric Glen is East Wren's own lighting festival illuminating the most beautiful landscape park, Rook and Glen, which has got the blend of fantastic landscape architecture, Victorian classical boating pond, bandstand kind of park, with amazing natural features, a big waterfall, beautiful old house burn running through a gorge, big rock formations, and an amazing industrial and social heritage. Tell me, what did you think of Electric Glen? We'll start with you. Did you enjoy it? Yeah, I loved it. What was your favourite bit? Um, I think when the carpet, all the patterns and everything were amazing. Phil, who's the creative director of the of Electric Glen, approached us and basically told us about the kind of history of the, the Glen and how it was like utilised by the Thornley Bank print works. The shapes are inspired by a combination of photos that were taken around the walk and the pattern sample book from the Thornley Bank print works to kind of reference a lot of these what sort of Victorian patterns that were printed. Like the heritage of the print works um, that the Crumb family who owned and ran in Thornley Bank, who built this as a private estate before it was handed over to the city of Glasgow. You can look at it as if the whole creative is really an exercise in printing colour and pattern onto the landscape. So this is your first time at Electric Glen. Were you impressed? I thought it was fantastic. We come to this park quite a lot, but um, I've never seen it like this before. It was really, really good. Does it change the whole feel of the park when it's all lit up like Hopefully, this? Hopefully, yes, absolutely, yeah. Yeah, it's, it's ethereal. What made you want to come along to this one? Oh, it's because it's our local park. Normally we walk the dog here during the day and what a transformation, it's beautiful. Because it's raining, has that made it worse, no? No. No, you're nice and cosy with your hat, aren't you? Yeah. <laughs> So I designed shows uh, in theatres, worked technically in theatre for years and became interested uh, in outdoor work, work with meaning and content outdoors in the landscape. So it's, it's challenging in a lot of ways but it's so rewarding. Um, just the natural beauty, being able to accent highlight natural beauty uh, is a real gift on a site like this. It's not all just about the light and it's not all just about the landscape but it's a bit of everything really. I think there's something in it for everyone.